Hey guys, this is John, and uh, we just purchased a Wen planer. They had uh, two different types. They had a, a two-blade planer and a three-blade planer. We purchased the three-blade planer. The uh, I certainly see. I've got a big planer that I use. This is a small one. What we're going to do is we're going to enclose this deck with some plastic for the winter, and I'm going to use this as my workshop. Uh, I've got another workshop, but it's not heated. And uh, anyway, I want to give you a review on this planer. I've used it a couple times now. It seems to do the job pretty good. It has a couple shortcomings, but uh, but beside that, it does pretty good. One of the very first things you want to do is clear your workspace. What you don't want to do is be tripping over something while you're working. So I'm gonna I cut some wood. I'm gonna get my circular saw out of the way. I've got some wood here. Uh, what I'm using, this is poplar, and we've got a sawmill, so we cut a lo we cut all of our own wood. Basically, almost everything from this house that we built came from our sawmill, with the exception of some OSB that I bought. The uh, and right now I'm making a picture frame for my wife, and as you can see, this is a rough rough sawn piece of lumber. It's been out in the weather. This side is actually pretty nice, but I'm going to put this side through the planer so you can see what it looks like. And uh, first thing we want to do is make sure we're plugged in. The one thing about this planer is it, it is a screamer. It's really loud. Normally, I wear uh, hearing protection, but I don't have my hearing protection right here, so I'm just planing this little piece just to show you guys. First thing we want to do is set the depth. Uh, a lot of times I'll just measure it, but right now what I've found out is I just kind of get a gauge. You will Obviously, if it's too low, you're not going to put it through, and I'd rather be up a little bit. So I'm going to go up one more. And here we go. why I took multiple passes is I, we, the, our sawmill is a band sawmill and it has a tendency of making our cuts a little bit wavy so within the same board it may be an inch over here seven eighths of an inch over here and an inch and an eighth over here and so for that reason I don't want it to bind up in the planer I'd rather take another extra pass and make sure that everything flows smoothly so you could see how well it worked I do notice that on the wider boards, it doesn't feed itself properly. I need to actually help push and pull it through. But aside from that, this is the Wen, the Wen three-blade planer. And so far, it's doing everything that I wanted it to do. Guys, thank you very much. Have a great day.